As we were working on achieving our scariest but most satisfying goals, it's really important to make sure we are focusing on the right things and we are getting as much done with our time as we possibly can. There are a few small little habits that we could do that would prevent us from getting the most done without us even realizing it. So in this video, I'm going to share seven things that I do not do in order to get more done. Welcome back to Christina TV. This is your place to create a life and an online business that you you absolutely love. So these seven things that I don't do, I don't do them so that I can protect my energy and my mindset, which in my opinion are the two most important aspects of ourselves to protect if we really want to create a life that we love. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about these seven things. So the first thing is social media. I've never really been a huge fan of social media in general just because I tend to be more introverted and it's just not something I enjoy doing with my time. I do think that social media is important when it comes to business and I definitely think it has its benefits in terms of keeping folks connected with extended family or with friends who live in different parts of the country or different parts of the world. Definitely has its benefits. However, I also think that there are quite a few drawbacks to social media so I keep myself out of it as best as possible. Number one, I do think that there's a lot of fakeness out there on social media and I don't really like that aspect of it. I'd rather just focus in on my own life and enjoying the actual moments living in the present with my son and the people that I spend my time with. Believe me, I have tens of thousands of photos on my phone or in my other devices that I keep for myself, but I just don't really feel the need to share them or take pictures that would be social media friendly. In addition to that, I do think that there are a lot of mental health components that could come into play by being on social media a lot, like comparison and feeling like you're not you know, caught up to your peers and different things like that. And I'd rather just keep myself away from that if my mind should have a tendency to go there. And it's honestly just not how I wanna spend my time. It's limited anyway, so instead of spending hours scrolling on social media, I'd rather use those hours to go towards my goals and much more productive efforts. Number two is drink alcohol. Now, I used to drink alcohol and I actually got myself to a point where I was drinking way too much alcohol for comfort. Back in 2016 is when I first stopped drinking alcohol and in addition to stopping the alcohol, I also went semi-plant-based with my diet. This was an amazing transformation on my body as well as on my health, the way my body felt, and my overall energy levels. And ever since then, it's been really hard not to notice the effect of not drinking alcohol and just eating better has on my energy and overall mental health. Now, I did make a mistake of falling into spending my time around the wrong person and or people, and I did start drinking again because of that. But then I stopped once I did separate myself from those incorrect people for me in the journey that I'm on. And ever since stopping again with drinking alcohol, again, I feel a lot more energized. My body just feels better, and I just don't see a reason to consume alcohol on a regular basis. Now, don't get me wrong. I will allow myself to have an occasional glass of red wine if I want to, like maybe once a month. And if I ever go to Napa, I definitely want to do a wine tasting out there. However, on a day-to-day -day basis, I just don't see any reason to consume alcohol and it definitely helps my mind and body feel a lot better. The third thing is complain. Now, don't get me wrong, there are definitely things in my life that I could certainly spend the time complaining about, but I just choose not to. I'm not perfect and every now and then I do start to complain a little bit about certain things or I will vent a little bit to a friend about certain things that are going on. And I do think that it's a really important for us to vent. However, I don't think that it's a good use of time or energy or mindset to just complain for the sake of complaining without doing anything to actually solve the problem that we are complaining about. So I avoid doing that at all costs. If I do have an issue, I believe in immediately trying to solve the problem. I decide if it's something that I can tolerate or accept, and if not, then I'm going to do something to rectify the situation rather than just complain about it. I definitely think that this is a really important one, especially when it comes to my mindset, because I don't know if you've noticed before, but the more we kind of complain, but without actually proactively working towards a solution, the more negative our mind gets 
gets because we're just focusing on the problem in front of us as opposed to seeing an opportunity to overcome the problem. So any of the times that I do find myself complaining a little bit, I quickly stop it because I do realize that it's having an effect on my energy and my mood and I don't want that. Number four is watch TV. Now I love going to the movies and watching movies with my little one. That's definitely a way that we spend quality time together and it's something that I want to definitely continue doing. And I used to enjoy watching those Hallmark Channel movies. I don't know if you guys have ever watched those but they're so cute and sweet and I did used to enjoy watching those. However, I much rather spend my time consuming something like a documentary or learning something new because it keeps my brain going and it helps me to stay focused on some of the even more important tasks that I need to keep working on. Now I don't think that there's anything inherently wrong with watching TV or a lot of movies or anything like that. However, I just prefer to limit my screen time for quality time with my son. Number five is reading or watching the news. I absolutely detest the news. And the reason for that is because there is such a negative spin on the information that's presented in the media, at least from my perspective. As a highly sensitive person, I process information very deeply, so I really cannot take on a lot of the negativity that I see in the news or in the media. So I avoid watching any news or reading any news at all. In addition to that, I always ask family and friends not to share with me any of the stories they hear about in the news unless it is a matter of survival for my son or for myself. But please, other than that, I do not want to hear about it. Number six is gossip. I don't like to spend my time talking about other people because I'd rather just focus on my own life and where it is I'm going. I definitely think that by gossiping we can get into a trap of focusing on other people way too much and not really making sure that we're putting the energy and effort into our goals and what we want our life to be. If I'm having a conversation with someone, I'd rather talk about our goals and our lives and share our stories or even just talk about some deeper topics like like space or physics and all of that fun stuff. I'd really rather not spend my time gossiping about other people and their choices. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, and small minds discuss other people. I think it's really important to make sure that our minds are in a super great place by staying focused on our goals and ideas and having conversations about that rather than getting sucked into gossip. And finally, the seventh thing that I do not do so that I can get more done is Honestly, things that just don't make sense or don't fit into the life plan that I have for myself. By this I mean I like to keep standards and boundaries for myself and for my life. If it doesn't make sense for who I am working to become, then it's not something that I'm going to do. And though I've always had a really strong sense of self, I know that over the years I've struggled with saying no to things and not feeling bad about it. I'm here to tell you that this is absolutely one of the best skills that I have developed over the last few years is the ability to say no and feel no guilt for saying no because I know that the thing that I'm saying no to does not fit into the version of myself that I want to become or the goals that I want to accomplish in my life. So those are the seven things that I do not do so that I can get more done. Leave a comment down below if there are any things that you don't do so that you can stay focused and really work towards being that best version of yourself and creating a life that you absolutely love. I'd love to hear from you. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you go ahead and get subscribed because again, this is your place to create a life in an online business that you absolutely love. From productivity to how to make money online to just creating that business that is absolutely right for you. I'm going to share all that information. So get subscribed, hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you put a like on it. I'd really appreciate it. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye.